it's been a hectic week already. We know we just need to just sit back, kick back, relax, and talk about Netflix because we all have it, or you know someone who does. So we're gonna we're gonna do our normal thing here that we do at Cardinal Film Fights, and we're gonna fight about some films. And today, we're doing the best Netflix original movie or series. So fighters, if if you'd like to introduce yourselves I, I'll allow you to do that oh I'm Paige Hepner I'm a junior TCOM major focus in video production I'm also the president of Cardinal Film Fights <laughs> I am Haley Parnell I'm a TCOM major with a focus in emerging media and I am the video editor and social media manager of Cardinal Film Fights I'm Gabby Brummett. I'm a TCOM major and a sophomore. I'm happy to be here. Lovely introductions. Thank you all. So, before we get into all, all of the fun stuff, we're going to do this the only way we know how, with one minute to introduce our topics, five minutes to duke it out, and 30 seconds to wrap it up and try to make some semblance of an argument that I can, in good judgment, call a winner. So... If, if y'all would like to introduce with your one minute introductions what you have chosen for best Netflix original I'd like to start at that end of the table and work our way back Gabby are you ready sure one minute on the clock all right I chose for my for the best Netflix original bird box very controversial topic I guess um, but yeah I just think it's a really good movie Jennifer Aniston did great and yeah that's the movie I chose my argument. I don't know really what else to say right now. <laughs> okay. Um, in 2016, Netflix released an amazing film full of laughs, cries, and Paul Rudd. <clears throat> the Fundamentals of Caring focuses on a writer who becomes a disabled teen's caregiver after a personal tragedy. After years of routine, the two embark on an adventure to the world's deepest pit. Along the way, they make friendships, confront their trauma, and learn how to cope. So what makes it the best Netflix original? We have a leading role of a person with a disability whose main problems in life don't just aren't defined by his disability. We see him portrayed as every other teen with daddy issues and a dark sense of humor, and the issues in each character's life aren't resolved in a cheesy, happily ever after fashion, but a realistic, learning how to feel secure fashion. That's just the start of why it's one of the best Netflix original films. I chose Game Over Man. I watch Netflix all the time with my roommate, who just happens to be my best friend, so we all watch TV all the time together. And we get tired and tired of watching the same, you know, Criminal Minds, Grey's Anatomy. It gets dramatic. Too, dra too much drama in your life, you need comedy. So there aren't a whole bunch of comedy specials or comedy uh, movies or shows that we really like on Netflix, but Game Over Man came out by the by Netflix and so far we've watched it so many times it's all my best friend's favorite movies and I trust their sense of humor above mine all so I feel like you should trust it too it's a great comedy it keeps entertaining it has the same people that workaholics like the same actors as workaholics so you always know that that's going to be a good it also <laughs> won outstanding sound editing so the sound of it the action shots and all that is really interesting and it just keeps you entertained and that's why i chose it all right and one note moving into the five minute forum bird box that's sandy b that's sandy b that's sandy bullock <laughs> <laughs> i appreciate Both amazing actors. i appreciate <laughs> referencing jennifer aniston because she's yeah. a lovely woman but I had to change it last minute. <laughs> it, it, it happens. She totally right. was right. thinking it's of friends for some reason. Friends doesn't and bird really, box are very similar. Really I understand I the understand. confusion. <laughs> all right, so we're moving into our five-minute forum where you can all just talk over each other and you don't have to worry about going in your assigned time and just just get real weird with it as we like to do at Cardinal Film Fights. So five minutes on the clock. I feel like both of your movies are very good movies. I watched Bird Box and I enjoyed it. I don't know, I don't understand why people don't like it so much, but like it kept me entertained the whole way through and that's kind of how I judge a movie is if I would want to watch it again, which 
you know, I w- it has Machine Gun Kelly in it. I would watch it again. Sorry. Um, but what I feel like your guys' movies lack is just, like, action or something that keeps it moving through. I feel like Bird Box, yes, they have to get to the end. But you're just like, I get it. Close your eyes and get to the end. I understand it's traumatic and nerve-wracking through it. But there is big plot twists in Game Over Man that I feel like just add a little something more to the movie. I think um, a big, uh, a good thing about my movie, The Fundamentals of Caring, is that it kind of has those twists, but um, it's like I mentioned how it's not very cheesy in the way that they resolve their issues. They kind of make fun of the fact that other movies do that, and I think that's what um, kind of helps it go along because they're, like, showing, like, a lot of movies that would have a character with a disability or they have this cute like bromance going on that they don't have to end the way that they always do where it's all like oh instead it can be like oh I'm gonna fake my death that's that's completely understandable <laughs> game over man is very um very cheesy very cute very f- it's like a fun stupid movie that's that's one of the reasons I like it, but that's just kind of who I am and what kind of movies I watch. There's also name. Oh, I already said that. Never mind. <laughs> um, um, well, uh, Bird Box. Uh, it has a lot of action. I mean, she has to choose which kid is gonna look and see like if they're even like close to needing to be where they are. And then at the end, it's like you don't expect it. Like it's a sanctuary, and it's like all these people. It's like. I was expecting it to be like this empty town where it's like, oh, just a couple houses that are like boarded up so that you don't see stuff. But no, it was like a whole sh- sanctuary of just great people. Wasn't expecting it at all. It's an amazing ending to a movie that's actually surprisingly a little scary on Netflix. And Netflix doesn't really have a lot of those. It stands out. Hmm. Well, I think that all of these are very good. <laughs> um, Something that I didn't like about Bird Box was that I never got to see, and I know some people were like, yeah, it's scarier because you didn't get to see what it actually was. I don't know. That just, I don't know. That just seemed like something that I would have preferred in the movie. It's just a cheap way to get out of it. I understand, sorry. I understand that, like, it's expensive and stuff to create, like, scary images and because it has to be, like, fake or something. I, I, I get that. But it always really um, surprises me when movies come out and like show you what's scary and make you scared. I don't always really like that. But um, they manage to scare you without showing what it is, and I feel like that just leaves like a feeling of like suspense and like makes you want to like just keep like watching to find out what it is. Because like every horror movie, you know what's like. But then it never there that's comes. I feel like you. the sp- suspense still comes with like the the dramatic things that are going on, them going through the river and stuff. So like you already have your suspense, so I want to see, like, this But I mean, you can, thing. like, imagine, like, it's obviously going to be super terrifying considering it, like, makes you want to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty mad. I wonder if it's a tuition bill. Probably. So Paul Rudd's really great in this movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> and Craig Roberts. I think that's a big thing that I really liked about it was that the way that they kind of just played off of each other was really great. And it's dark humor, so I really liked it. But that's just me. I don't know. I I like comedy that isn't just, like, the usual. So I think that it was kind of a different film for Paul Rudd as well. Um, But he played it off really well. So he should be in things like this more often. Because it was the best. (laughs) (laughs) It was good. I feel like we all chose very different movies, like no comedy, some comedy, and then mm-hmm. like way too much. So I guess it's, it's kind of hard to like beat down everyone's because like I could say, well, I like your dark humor and like yours doesn't have any, but like some people don't don't care for dark humor, you know? Um. All righty. <laughs> Let's finish up our five minute forum. Now you have given me all that I need to know basically, but. <laughs> You have 30 seconds right here at the end to try and convince me otherwise of what I got going on in my head right now. So starting at this end of the table, going back, Paige. Game Over Man is an 
fun, action-filled movie that keeps you on your toes. It starts off in a completely different place of where it ends. Um, it has some of the, like, the funniest actors. I find very funny actors in it. Um, very memorable scenes that like, get stuck in your head that you can like quote for years. I just think it's a really good movie. I think everyone should watch it, even if it doesn't win. It's a good thing to keep all of you and your friends laughing. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I really oversold Paul Rudd. He was, he's really great, though, <laughs> trust me. Um, <clears throat> I think that one of the best things about the fundamentals of caring really is the fact that we get to see a person with a disability which we don't see very often in films, but when we do, their main problem of the film is that disability. And in this movie, that's not the case, and that was really interesting to watch. Okay. All right, Bird Box, it, yeah, it doesn't show you what the whole scary thing is, but it, like, leaves you wanting to keep watching the movie just to figure out, like, what's going to happen. Will we ever see the thing that it's, like, making people want to kill themselves? Um... The actors and actresses in it did really good. Um, it's an actually scary movie that's on Netflix, which is very rare to see. Um, not no shade towards Netflix, but yeah, it's a great movie. Now this here's the part of the show where I get to have some fun and crush all of your dreams. So if you'll give me a second to review my notes, I'll, I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you for your patience. Now, <coughs> yeah, you're going to want to get ready for this page. Um, so in third place, we have Paige Hepner. Um, yeah, it's it's a fun, action-filled, lighthearted, quotable movie. But that's all. That's about all I got out of you. I didn't really get you, – you mentioned it's, it's praise for its sound editing and, well, that's – Good and well, I, I didn't I didn't hear how much of that should play into it as the <laughs> best Netflix original. And I'm sorry, but that's just going to have to be third place. Move, moving right along in our rankings. <coughs> At number two, we have uh, Jennifer Aniston and Bird Box. <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill off our guests. We, we appreciate them very much, and they <laughs> just get a glass of water. Come on. Hold yourself together. Second place, Bird Box. Thank you. Thank you. And in first place, we have The Fundamentals of Caring, a, hor a heartwarming movie that breaks the limits of disabilities that are usually imposed on characters, letting them act as real humans and not as just being cast as their disability. Self-aware, not too cheesy, and with great chemistry between Paul Rudd. And uh, actually, my, my note right here that I made about Paul Rudd is just <laughs> Paul, and then it's a big heart, yes. and then I wrote Rudd, because that's what I was getting out of Haley's, that we heart Paul Rudd around here. <laughs> All right. So just to recap, third place, I, sorry, I get it. second place, take it. Sandy B, and in first place, we have the fundamentals of caring. This has been Cardinal Film Fights. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to watch some more of us, you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media because our social media manager is right here and she'll tell you that you really should. She she puts a lot of work into it. You and really she, should. And it looks... It looks <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Haley. <laughs> and you can find those social medias at Card Film Fights. Um, comment what we should be arguing next because we love hearing your feedback about what people should be just absolutely tearing each other's throats at for. So, thank you once again. This has been Cardinal Film Fights, and I have been Justin Branson, host, judge, and moderator. <laughs>